and welcome to this new tutorial. Today it's gonna be a remake of an old one, the Smooth Light Transition. I made this one actually exactly three years ago. And well, it was when I was still doing the fast tutorials, which I personally like better when I'm a viewer, but all of you like them slower. So uh, I've had actually a lot of requests for doing this slower because people could not really understand what I was doing. So I'm gonna make it again. So next day editing Roxanne here, I've discovered that there's another way to do this. First, I'm gonna show you the original way that I had and I'll show you the other way at the end. Uh, I have these two clips here, so I'm just gonna take a small chunk of each of them. You're only gonna have the transition on a few frames, so it really doesn't matter what length they are. So right now we have... Okay, so, sorry, we're a bit zoomed in here. We have the sea and then some windmills. So basically what you're gonna want to have is to move this to the left or to the right, whatever side you want. I'm gonna go to the left. But then when you move it, so I'm just gonna move it quickly so you see what happens. I mean, I'm sure you're gonna understand what's happening. That's black. Oh yeah, that's not good. So you're gonna want to have the same image to fill up this space. You're gonna want it mirrored. So you just start with your two clips. Then you're gonna copy and paste them on top of each other. So you'll have your two clips twice. You can just hide the top layer for now. Start by adding the blur. The blur is gonna be some sort of motion blur. Since there's no motion blur, we're just gonna create it. So it's gonna be box blur. There are two of them. You have to choose the right one. It's this one with keyframes. So we're gonna go to the end and go like 10 keyframes back. 10 keyframes is good. I'm gonna add a keyframe here and then I'll add the keyframe at the end. Uh, actually, for the first two keyframes, everything is gonna be at the lowest possible. For here, we're gonna be at the blur factor of one. And we're only gonna change the horizontal multiplicator and it's gonna be, be like really high. Yeah, like furry, something like that. That looks good. And now it should get blurrier and blurrier and blurrier. I'm just gonna drag it onto the top clip. The next thing we're gonna do is move it. So add a transform effect. You can also just look for it here, like I did for the blur. And I'm gonna put a keyframe at the same place as the first one. This one is not gonna change. And then another keyframe at the end. And this one is gonna move a lot to the left. And I'm actually gonna zoom in a tiny bit because you can see those black lines at the top of and bottom, which are results of the blur. So I'm just gonna zoom in like, I think 0.5% should be okay, yeah. Okay, so these are just the basic moves. So I'm actually gonna move more to the left, like almost halfway through the screen. And then I'm gonna add one or two keyframes to make it go smoother, like a keyframe somewhere on here, and it's gonna be way more to the left. Right, sorry. So it didn't move that much. And then another keyframe somewhere on here, which will also be more to the right. So now we have something like this. This looks good. And then we're gonna do something similar for the top clip, so I'm just gonna show the track again. Go to my first keyframe here. It doesn't really matter, and add a transform effect. You're gonna move it all the way to the left, so it's hidden for now. It's actually gonna be at 1920. And add a keyframe here. And then go to the last keyframe, uh, last keyframe and move it so that it fits the other one. And soon you'll see that there's kind of a black line that's kind of ugly. So we are gonna want to hide that. Uh, wait, one second, I forgot something very important. I forgot the flippo. You need to flip horizontally on, on this one. And you want it to be at the very top. Okay, so there's some kind of black line here. You can see that no matter wh where I move, I'm gonna see it. Um, so I'm gonna try to align the two blurs together, so like somewhere on here, and then I'm gonna crop what's ugly. So crop, I'm gonna select crop scale and tilt. Tilt. Add it to this one and move it up one effect because it needs to be under the transform effect. 
and then I'm going to crop the left part. Right now it's two, two crops. <laughs> and... I think I'm going to need to crop up to here and then move the transform to the left a bit more. And there's no line anymore. Perfect. Uh, I did notice there's a problem with the zoom, so I'm going to add the 0.5% that we did that we added for the other clip as well. You want it to be as close as possible. So here it's perfect. Like it looks like it's just one image. And then you're gonna add the same keyframes as you did for the other transform effect. So for this one, so you'll have one keyframe here. Here you can add a keyframe and move it to the right to align it with this. And you might not need to crop as much, so you can also add a keyframe here. Uh, wait, I need to add a keyframe at the end and then go back here, add another keyframe. Crop left is gonna be smaller. Yes, this. So yeah, it is a matter of adjusting it. You're gonna go back and forth a few times until it looks perfect. And then the last keyframe here, and this is gonna be even more to the right. And it might need to not even be cropped at all, actually. We'll see. Okay, let's go frame by frame so you can see what's happening. So yeah, you can see the blur is coming with the movement and... Well, this part is the second clip. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the windmills. So for the second clip, it doesn't have to be windmills. So once more, some bugs blur. Around 10 keyframes again. So like I'm at 17, so I'll go to 27. Here. Blur factor is gonna be at one horizontal multiplicator really high, like furry, and here, Blur factor at zero and horizontal multiplicator at zero. So now we should have a blur. Why don't we have anything? Oh yeah, because we need to hide the top <laughs> clip. So this is working well. Then we need to add the transform effect. So at this frame, the 10th frame, it's gonna be in place. At the first frame, which is gonna be smooth, it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit to the right. Like this. Okay, so we're gonna add keyframes, same as before. Add a keyframe here. This is gonna be almost to the finished uh, place. And another keyframe around here, which is gonna be, well, closer, like here. So right now, it's gonna come like this. And we need to do the same thing on the top clip as we did on the bottom one. So first, don't forget the flip, because that's very important. Um, you could also use flipo and just select horizontally. It works the same. Then you're gonna need some box blur. You can just copy the one from the bottom clip. Um, we're gonna need a crop, even though we're not gonna use it quite yet. Crop scale and tilt. And lastly, the transform effect here. For the transform, at the end it will be totally hidden. Minus 1920. That's the end though, not the beginning, but... Uh, um, I need to be at the right keyframe. Here I can add the keyframe for this. At the first keyframe is gonna be smooth and it's gonna be aligned with our other clip and then we're also gonna crop a little on the right this time okay perfect you can't see anything and then we're gonna add another keyframe uh, somewhere on here actually we need to have the same keyframes as for this one okay so it's this one that we took here move it to the left align it roughly and then the crop is going to change as well. And lastly, another keyframe, move it to the left. 
You can add one for the crop as well. Oops. And your very last keyframe. Put zero here. So let's see if everything looks good. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, so I'm gonna free render. Nice. Yeah, this is how it works. You can adjust everything. You can change the blur, you can change the movement. You could do it up and, up and down as well. So I guess this is now the end where I show you the second wave. So this one uh, is gonna lower your quality a little, but it's very quick, it's way quicker. So in our case here, I'm just gonna cut here uh, the clip because since it's gonna lower the quality, I don't want it over the whole, cl whole clip, but just the end. So I'm just gonna do stuff on this clip here. The first thing I'm gonna add is a grid. It's gonna be video grid here, and it's gonna make rows and columns of your thing. So if you go really high, you'll have a lot of them. In our case, we only need one and a half roughly. So around 0.3 is our number here. Then we're gonna replicate the side. So you're gonna use fill borders to do this. And if you move the right side, you'll see that there's something moving weirdly. But what we want actually is mirror in our case. And then you can just adjust it so that it fits the lines, so that you don't see a line anymore. And this seems perfect. Next, you're gonna add a transform effect to make it move. And so here is the decrease in quality because you're really gonna zoom in. So zoom in a little, and then you have to adjust it to find exactly the right size. Oh. Okay, so that looks good. And here you can see the difference in quality. Well, maybe you can't, but uh, there's definitely one. But since it's gonna move, it's not really important, so it's okay. So then we're gonna go to the last keyframe. And at this last keyframe, we're gonna move all the way to the right, and you can just select it like this. Also, we're gonna add some blur. So it's gonna be box blur again to make the motion blur. A keyframe at the beginning which is gonna be everything at zero and a keyframe at the end which will have blur factor at one and this will be quite high like 30 or something you have to move it above the transform for it to look good and what you can see is there's a bit missing at the top and bottom so I'm just gonna actually change the transform just a tiny bit make it move up a tiny little bit like minus one I think should be okay yes and I can't have it move that much to the left. Like towards here is good. And then I can also add a keyframe in the middle. Which is gonna be more this way. So this is like adjusting keyframes like in the other case. So you just have to play with it. And you can also change the blur a little bit in the middle if you don't want it to be that blurred at that point. And so here, you can see, go to the left slowly. And then you can do the same thing on the second clip. Okay, so you have your video grid, your fill borders, and lastly, you need, uh, well, you also need the box blur, I guess we can add it now. We know it's gonna be at zero here, and at one with like 30 here, and lastly, we'll need the transform. And here, you can zoom in like 200% I want to say should be good Top like this even a little bit to this side and at the end it will be all the way to this side here on the right a Little bit less actually because we had some overlap. We have a little zoom problem It's a bit too zoomed in or not enough or too much. I'm not sure
And then you can adjust the keyframe in the middle as well. It needs to be way more to the left. Nice. And that's all. I hope you like it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, um, whatever you want. Bye-bye.